Ryanair is a low-cost airline that serves short-haul routes across Europe and North Africa. Ryanair isn't known for quality, but it is cheap, and cheap is what many customers look for when travelling. This has helped the company to grow revenues from 5 billion euros in 2014 to almost 11 billion over the last 12 months. The business is profitable too. Except for two years around COVID, the company has had impressive operating margins between 13 and 24% and it's been able to derive a third of its revenues from ancillary services like in-flight food and drink. At the current share price, Ryanair has a market cap of 19.5 billion euros, with 4.7 billion of cash and 2.9 billion of long-term debt. The enterprise value is 17.7 billion. Free cash flow over the last 12 months was 2 billion, and net income was 1.3 billion, so the stock is valued at 1.6 times revenue, 9 times free cash flow, and just under 15 times earnings. Looking at the chart, you can see that the stock is up 40% so far this year thanks to record travel numbers and a 30% drop in the oil price. However, shares are still below their 2021 peak, and that has a lot to do with increasing labour costs. According to Moody's, airline labour costs will increase 19% this year and another 8% in 2024. This will no doubt impact Ryanair's earnings. Looking at the revenue mix below, you can see that staff costs make up at least 11% of revenue, while fuel and oil costs make up 37%. Despite this, Ryanair has big plans for the future. It's ordered another 300 jets from Boeing and plans to hire another 10,000 people. Ryanair's plan to reduce emissions is based on investing in these planes that produce around 20% less fuel burn. That will help to increase efficiency, but CEO Michael O'Leary admitted it may not be possible to meet all of its emission targets. Looking at the valuation, Ryanair trades at 15 times earnings, which is pretty much in line with its historical average. Let's assume the company can grow revenues around 12% a year for the next 10 years, and then operate at a 15% net income margin. That would result in roughly 5 billion of net income in 10 years time and a 15 times multiple gets the valuation to roughly 76 billion. That works out to an investment return of 14.7% a year. Airline stocks are notoriously risky investments, labour costs, oil prices and the need to invest for a lower emission future creates a difficult environment for growth. However, if you are in the market for an airline stock, then Ryanair is one of the best. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I've got no position in this stock.